Hello everybody. Uh, in today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to clean the surface of our stainless steel refrigerator door. And um, in one of my other videos, the one in which I am pulling a dent out, somebody happened to just uh, shoot a comment out that said I should probably use a solvent on the entire refrigerator because I guess they thought it was a little bit dirty. So. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is show you the best way to clean the stainless steel on the refrigerator doors. Now, of course, most people use either olive oil or PAM or um, there's other things you can use. You can use Pledge and things like that to put a nice shine on the doors. But before you put the shine on the doors, what you really got to do is clean the stainless steel first. So again, in this video, we're gonna show you how I clean it. And the way I do it is I simply take a clean sponge like this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some ordinary isopropyl alcohol on the sponge. If you notice, this sponge has two sides, just like most sponges. One has a, an abrasive side, one is a more smooth, softer side. And we're gonna completely saturate the sponge and then we're going to scrub the entire surface of the refrigerator, um, all the stainless steel that you can see. Now, what you don't realize is that application after application after application of your oils and stuff that you like to put on the refrigerator doors to shine it up um, and to take the fingerprints off eventually becomes actually very dirty you don't even know it, but you're not going to realize until you start trying to clean the refrigerator surface. That's when you're going to notice all the dirt, of course, coming off on your sponge. I think actually what happens is the oil becomes a trap for the dirt. And just simply going over it with more and more oil doesn't take the dirt off. You have to take the dirt off first. You need to strip the dirt and the oils off the refrigerator surface first before you give it a nice coat of oil next time. And don't be afraid to put a little bit of uh, elbow grease into it when you're using the sponge. You're gonna have to scrub a little bit. And from time to time, if you have to use the more abrasive side, go ahead and use the more abrasive side. I wouldn't use steel wool or anything, but a good sponge with a rough side does a perfectly fine job taking off the difficult uh, oil and dirt okay so there is what the sponge looks like from just a little bit of scrubbing and here we go we're going to speed it up a little bit show you what that looks like I'm going to add a little more alcohol to it don't be afraid to use the alcohol it's not going to hurt the metal and it's really going to do a good job of cleaning all the dirt and the oils off the surface metal of this refrigerator. Make sure you get it into all the little cracks under the handles. Make sure you clean the handles. And um, the one thing that I'm not showing in this video is that once you get done scrubbing the entire surface with the sponge and rubbing alcohol, um, what I actually did was I wrung out the sponge in clean water several times and I went over the surface with clean water. And the reason why I do that is because what happens is the, um, the alcohol kind of leaves a little bit of a white film on the surface of the refrigerator. So it's important that you get that white film off. And then once we get the white film off, that's when we're going to take out, what I like to use, I like to use PAM, um, olive oil spray. And I guess you could just get some regular olive oil, put it on a rag and rub it, rub it all over your refrigerator. But I kind of use the PAM because I can spray it. I kind of wish you can see this straight away. If you could see this with your own two eyes, you wouldn't believe what this refrigerator is looking like compared to the way it was before. I mean, the surface is almost like a mirror now. From any angle that I look at it, it is so reflective 
so nice, so shiny, that it's pretty amazing. And you can't get that shine by simply putting the um, oil on it. You have to clean it first. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. This is definitely a good technique. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And I want to hear your comments. Have a great day.